welcome back to Simply Share Share. Thanksgiving is just around the corner, at least in Canada it is. And because I moved to a new house, I actually don't have a dining table yet. So I'm actually heading over to my in-laws this year. And instead of the usual bottle of wine, I really wanted to create something a little more personal. So I'm putting together a Thanksgiving gift basket with all of my favorite must-haves for the fall. So let's get started. This gift basket would be amazing any time of the year for anyone who wants to give a little something special to your hostess with the mostess. So the first thing that I like to do is to come up with a concept and I think this year Thanksgiving is going to be about all the little things that mean a lot. So everything that's going into the basket is going to have cuteness overload times a thousand. Everything is going to be and mini and sample size and I think it's going to be fabulous. A lot of times when I'm putting these baskets together I like to make sure that it's really really simple because it's always at the last minute. So I actually picked up this awesome basket from the Dollarama. For four dollars this basket is made out of chicken wire, really sturdy and it has a fabric liner already made so that saved me a ton of time. Everything that's put into the basket is functional Either you can add it to the meal that's being prepared that day, or you can use it as decor. So my top must-haves for this year include, scented pine cones are awesome because they add a nice fragrance to the table. You can use them individually as place cards and the paper just slips right in and works perfectly. I also like to use these mini peppers and heirloom tomatoes as decor on top of a napkin at each place setting. I mean, they just honestly are so cute. Ornamental cabbage are so beautiful and sculptural on its own. You don't really need a big floral arrangement at the table. You can easily just put each stem into a mason jar and they look absolutely gorgeous. I'm also going to include one of my favorite after dinner desserts. Sometimes you just don't even need to have cake. For me, I'm going to include this awesome hot chocolate from Soma in Toronto. It's one of my favorite places to get chocolate. And I'm going to include some herbal teas. So I've got lavender mint and rooibos chai. Just reminds me of fall, really soothing and calming, and it's perfect to relax after you've eaten so much food. And last but not least, I could not resist. I went to my local market in Dundas, Ontario called Biconis, and they had these adorable mouse melons. Now, I had no idea what these were, and they're actually part of the cucumber family, and they look like little watermelons. They're absolutely adorable, and you can actually just pop them into your mouth, or you can add them to a salad. Now, I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So first off, you're going to take some paper bags, take some scissors, and just cut the top half off. Roll down the sides and continue going down about halfway, and this is going to create a nice little bowl. Place a pine cone at the bottom of the basket. Put the paper bag on top on a slight angle. And then you can add your veggies and this is going to give you the look of a cornucopia. You place the tall things at the back. So you can start with hot chocolate, then add your mug and the tea tins. And you can do the same with the mouse melons. Now all you have to do is fill the spaces with the ornamental cabbage flowers. And last but not least, insert a fun little card into the pine cone as a note to your hostess, and you're all done. Thanks for watching, and I hope you got some fun ideas to create your own gift basket for Thanksgiving or the next time you head over to a party. Make sure to leave comments or questions below. I love hearing from you. I'd love to know what you put in your gift baskets as a treat for your friends and family. And for more Thanksgiving ideas, make sure to check out my video that I did last year in 360 VR. You can swipe, you can move things around, and you'll really feel like you're right there with me. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Simply Share Share. And to all my fellow Canadians who celebrate the holidays a few weeks earlier, Happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours, and I'll see you next time.